Hello Internet, welcome to my channel and today we're going to do another Football Manager 2018 overview. Um, just like the one previous, I'm not sure if you checked it out or not, I have done a uh, uh, season prediction in the English leagues. But now I thought I'd take a look at the World Cup and kind of see what the, the program would, would come up with uh, if I simulated the World Cup. Now, we all love Football Manager, um, but we, I have often found the international setup a bit uh, far-fetched and it has done it once again I know the end result here is is not too shocking but some of the if you take a look at some of the groups which I'll go through in just a second you'll realize that a lot of these um, realistically ain't gonna happen but uh, we thought to have a little look and have a little bit of fun anyway let's just jump in and take a look so the World Cup being held in Russia 2018 um, and up until this date which is the 27th I think of October the, um, the qualification process is still going on, so a number of nations still could make it. Um, and obviously some of the ones in this simulation have made it that are already eliminated. But anyway, let's just take a look at the groups. So the draw was made December 1st, 2017. And these are the draws that the simulation came up with. In Group A, Austria, Russia, Cameroon and Honduras were the groups. And that's how they finished. Austria top in the pops, Russia squeaking in the second spot. They make it into the second round. Group B, shocker. Title holders, Germany finishing rock bottom. European champions also in that group finishing third. Mexico and Colombia make it through to the next stage. Group C with Lionel Messi leading the line. They top their group with Italy in second spot. Costa Rica and Ghana finished third and fourth respectively. Into Group D. Spain top these ones with Japan squeaking in second spot both on five points both in the second round Guinea and Ukraine out as in group E this is one is uh, very prominently wrong because Holland actually didn't make the World Cup um, but they top this uh, this group finishing first with seven points Uruguay coming in second one of the hot topics and one of the favorites Belgium finishing third South Korea zero points fourth into group F Croatia, South Africa, again, a team that I doubt will make it to Russia. Um, Croatia might. I think they've got a playoff. But they, 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 they finished the first and second spot. Chile, who also didn't make the World Cup. Third, Saudi Arabia, who did make the World Cup rock bottom um, of their group. And Group G, one of the favorites. Brazil, top their group. USA, another notable absentee, finishing second. France, third. Wales also didn't qualify. They finished bottom. And finally, whew, Group H, Poland, who did qualify. England, who did qualify. They finished top and second, respectively. Ivory Coast and Syria, again, a team who never made it to the qualifying stage. But that was the group stages. Um, so let's try and break it down and have a look at the second round here. So this was the draw for the second round. Colombia versus Austria. Austria came through 2-2 on penalties. Mexico against Russia against the host. 3-1 victors. Argentina. Had a, a favourable draw, landing Japan, three zip winners. Italy also, well, they stuck up, uh, stepped up the plate, knocking out uh, Spain, 4-1. Holland cruised past South Africa, 3-0. Uruguay stumbled against Croatia. Brazil, one of the hot topics, 2-0 winners over England. And USA, again, who are team and not here. So this just shows how shambolic, well, I won't say shambolic, but just how poor it is at the moment. 3-1 um, winners over Poland. Into the quarterfinals we go. Austria, again, a uh, team who really didn't make it. Uh, they knock out Italy, 2-1. Mexico knock out Lionel Messi's uh, Argentina. Again, same score. So he will not win the World Cup according to this simulation. USA knock out fellow absentees. Holland, 1-zip. And Brazil, 2-0 victors over Croatia. So we're getting into the meat of the matter. Semi-finals. Okay, a bit of clarity here. Austria out. Semi-final stage. Uh, Brazil through to the final. 3-0 winners. Mexico also knock out their fellow uh, CONCACAF. Is that correct? CONCACAF um, team, nation, USA, 3-0. So... Uh, if, it, if you're really interested, Austria beat a USA in a, in a dead rubber third place spot. But the final, the one that matters, Brazil, 4-0 victories, victors over Mexico. Uh, maybe we can have a quick look at the breakdown of it. Uh, there we go. Look at that. This was the starting lineups. 
a lot more data for you guys to, to, to devour here. I'm a big, big nut on stats and numbers and things like that. Danny Alves looks like he just got pipped by man of the match by Neymar, obviously. Um, Mexico really were in this game. Let's take a look at some of the goals, eh? 4-0. This is, this is actually the first bit of match activity to be displayed on there from FM18. Um, so this is exciting. World Cup. Let's have a look at the goals. Um, Dani Alves, the Jesus, crosses it in there, into the box, comes out, cleared somewhat by Mexico. Dani Alves backtracking all the way back to his uh, right back spot. Fabinho, Arthur, he's a player I'm not too familiar with. Jesus uses Alves. He's running a lot. Pings it in the box. There he is, Neymar. No problems. One zip. 11 minutes gone. Fabinho now in the center of midfield. Out to Alexandro. Neymar once again. Uses Fabinho. Taps it forward. Doesn't get what he was after. Big offer. Out to Fabinho. Jesus. Fabinho. Fabinho. Neymar's another crack at it. He should put this away. No problems. Look at that. 2 0. 17 minutes gone. They have one hand on the cup already. We know that. We know they win it. Um, Danny Alves throw in to Robert Firmino. Arthur. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Back to Neymar once again. This is his World Cup, it looks like. Oh, brought down on the edge of the box. No free kick. Marquinhos already on a yellow. Pushes it forward to Arthur. What's he got left in the tank? Casmino. Fabino. Over the top. Danny Alves. Brilliant control. Brings in the box. Neymar misses out there. Could have been a third for him. Really, Mexico look like Blackburn Rovers. Their defence is atrocious. Fabino, an alpha exchange of passes in centre midfield. Eventually, brings it out to Alves, who with that right peg of his, brings in a cracking cross. Firmino in there, makes it free uh, just after the break. So, realistically... What's going on here? A bit of a lag in my machine. And this is the fourth and final goal. Neymar, Paulinho. Looks like he came on on a substitute. Back to Neymar. He had a runner on the left. Brought down. Play on the ref, says Fabinho. To the middle of the park. Over the top once again. Danny Alves. How old is he? Luke. Who's that? Luan. Just the fourth and final goal. Um, and that's your lot. That is, uh, that's how the World Cup was won. I'm going to try and get out of this now, if I can. Yep. In fact, let me head back to... Um, no, I don't want to head back there. So, let's just take a look at the overall statistics for some of the players. Raul Jimenez was top of the assists chart, but the top goal scorer. Uh, any fantasy pundits out there might want to, want to take a stab at Robert Lewandowski. Six goals uh, for him. Bas Dost from Holland. Obviously, he ain't going to the World Cup. So, scratch that guy out of there. Um, Neymar with four goals. Two of them in the final. Troy Deeney. Troy Deeney makes it to the World Cup. That's a shocker. Let's have a quick scan of that, actually. Let's have a look at the, line, the English um, team that went. Any major shockers? Obviously, Troy Deeney, huge. John Joe Shelby. That's a bit of a shocker. Cresswell makes it. Maguire makes it. Um, any key absentees? Uh, I can't think of the top of my head. Uh, no Jamie Vardy. Um, who else? Who else is missing? Any blatantly obvious ones missing? Maybe some of the back. Uh, Cahill. I don't see Cahill at the back. Um, Carl Walker's in there. Danny Rose. No Danny Rose. Nope, oh, there he is. Danny Rose is in there. Um, Livermore, that's a bit of a shocker as well. Um, a lot of these players probably wouldn't make it. Oxley Chamberlain's not in there. Rashford's not in there. So, uh, no Jermaine Defoe. Some people would think that uh, is, is a shocker. But, yeah, anyway, I don't want to dig, dig too much into this. That is your lot. That is the World Cup predictions. Obviously, like I said uh, towards the start end of the video, a lot of these countries will not make it. They're already eliminated. Uh, your your Hollands, your Wales, your USA, um, 
So take it with a pinch of salt. Um, but according to this guy, you can't, according to the simulation anyway, you cannot look further than, uh, than Brazil. But anyway, until next time, thumbs up, subscribe. Ciao for now. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.